We know the internet is filled with people still doing the bird box challenge, but you must really be wearing a blindfold if you haven't checked out You on Netflix yet. This show had us frantically watching each new episode, just waiting to see what awkward and creepy situations Joe would find himself in. If you want to save yourself from spoilers, hit pause and get back to us when you're done binging. Otherwise, get ready to hear some wild theories that suggest Beck might still show up during the second season, even though we all thought she was six feet under. Candace By the time you was over, we were desperate to learn more about Joe's dating history. Considering his penchant for being a creepy stalker and his propensity for violence, Beck wasn't alone in thinking Joe had done something terrible to his ex-girlfriend Candace. But then at the end of the show, she appears in front of him and Joe exclaims, Candace, you're… before she finishes with a live. Many fans took this as confirmation that Joe didn't hurt Candace and she really had run off to Italy. But think back to an earlier episode when Joe was hallucinating Candace was there. She asked him, are you going to leave Beck alone or will she end up like me? Is it possible that Joe sincerely believed he hurt Candace until the moment she was standing in front of him? If he was wrong about taking out Candace, maybe he was also wrong about Beck. Love Let's be clear here, in no way, shape, or form are we trying to romanticize Joe. Even if nobody perished in his pursuit of romance, what he did to Beck over the course of the series was truly horrible. Clearly, you doesn't show a model of a healthy relationship, but let's think about Joe's perspective. Yes, everything he does is beyond terrible, but he does it with the intention of helping Beck. He even stated, I don't hurt the people I love. And we did see Joe genuinely care for two people over the course of the show, Paco and Beck. Yes, Joe was a twisted person, but he seemed to adhere to his own moral code. He hurt those who hurt the people he loved, but as we mentioned earlier, his ex, Candace, seemed to be just fine. Ron While we saw that Joe is capable of love in his own terrible, unhealthy way, we also saw him really and truly hate someone. Well, it's safe to say we all despised his neighbor's boyfriend, Ron. It was hard to drum up any sympathy for him, and we don't think anyone was too sad when Paco finally snapped and hit him with the baseball bat. Joe stepped in to finish the job and convinced Paco not to tell anyone. But we never actually saw him disposing of Ron, so what happened to him? At the end of the show, we saw Joe carrying what looked like a body bag, but we didn't see who was inside of it. Could it be that he was really getting rid of good old Ron and not Beck? The Cage We know Mr. Rooney kept the perfect book storage facility in the basement of his bookshop, but his protege used it for more nefarious purposes. In the beginning of You, Joe used it to keep Benji, Beck's sort of boyfriend, away from her. Eventually, he ends up disposing of Benji, but before that, he kept him in there for quite some time. Is it possible Joe could be keeping Beck alive down there and merely faked her being gone? After a certain point, we don't see any more shots of the basement, despite it being an important scene. Maybe that's because it's not as empty as Joe tried to make us believe. The Book even though much of the show has to do with books and writing, you might not have known that You is based on a book by the same name written by Caroline Kepnes. The book also follows the creepy stalker adventures of bookstore employee Joel Goldberg, who falls in love with Genevieve Beck. But there are many differences between the book and the show. Joe's neighbors, Claudia, Paco, and Ron were major players in the Netflix adaptation, but don't appear at all in the book. In the book, it's not all ambiguous that Beck doesn't survive long enough to show up in the sequel Hidden Bodies, but in the show, it was deliberately left more vague. Could this be to drum up interest in the second season, or because this is another way in which the show is different than the book? Survival According to You showrunner Sarah Gamble, she tried her best to put herself in Beck's shoes when thinking about being locked up in that cage. Sarah claims Beck was totally focused on her own survival and was not resigned to her fate in the slightest. We had seen Beck be oblivious at best over the course of the series, and not just with Joe. She regularly let people walk all over her and overall didn't display very good judgment. But this is a serious scenario and people have been known to pull off incredible feats when their lives are in danger. If we assume Beck couldn't have managed to get out of this life-threatening situation, are we not giving her enough credit? Faking it is it possible the body the police discovered didn't really belong to Beck? Although we saw Joe burning Benji, it's highly unlikely he was able to destroy all of the evidence that way. 
Plus, he also had access to Ron's body and plenty of Beck's DNA if he kept her captured. It's possible he left some other body, or body parts, with enough DNA evidence to make the police think they had recovered Beck. With all of the other evidence, maybe they just didn't look that hard. After all, a book written by a victim detailing the crimes of Dr. Nikki was undoubtedly very compelling. Dr. Nikki Poor Dr. Nikki. Well, not poor so much, since he was a very bad and unscrupulous therapist, but still, he hardly deserved being framed for such a heinous crime. We saw him being arrested, but what evidence do the police really have against him? It's possible the media has rushed to judgment without taking the time to look at the evidence and confirm Beck is actually gone. We would be interested to know exactly what the cops have against Dr. Nikki and see if it holds up to our standards of investigation. Paris one obvious answer to where is Beck is trapped in the basement of the bookstore. But she has another, much more glamorous option. Before Joe took her out, Peaches had purchased plane tickets for herself and Beck to move to Paris. When we all thought Candace was dead, it turned out she had been in Italy the whole time. Maybe Beck was taking her own European vacation to get away from her crazy ex. After all, what did she really have left for her back home? Her old boyfriend Benji and her BFF were gone, and it wasn't like her other pals were that great. Plus, her family was a mess and she couldn't stand to be around them. With all that in mind, jetting off to Paris to start over does sound pretty amazing. Scheme Most of these ideas about how Beck could still be alive hinge on Joe still having done something terrible to her. But could Beck be in on it too? We've seen how desperate she is in order to maintain her financial independence, turning down money offered to her by Peaches on multiple occasions. She also willingly put herself in uncomfortable relationships with her father and her professor in order to try to make things work and progress her writing career. But as soon as she learned, there is apparently a dark side to fame, and it seemed as though everyone she encountered was trying to take advantage of her in some way. But what if she could suddenly have a way to know she could write the one book everyone would want to read? Would Beck really be able to pass up the opportunity? Elizabeth Lail whether or not her character is still alive, there's no denying actress Elizabeth Lale did an amazing job portraying the character Beck, but it turns out she wasn't a fan of how the show ended. She claims she hates the trope of female characters being nothing but victims, and definitely felt like the bad guy won at the end of You. If that's the case, this points all the more strongly to Beck not making it to the second season. Without Beck gone for good, there would be a chance for her to overcome, escape the basement or wherever she is, to redeem herself. But Elizabeth seems to believe this is outside the realm of possibilities. Although she claims not to like the ending, Elizabeth admits it makes sense for the character and the overall story. Season 2 If you've seen the show, you won't be surprised to know it was a big success and drew comparisons to other classics like American Psycho. So we weren't exactly shocked to learn Netflix is going to be doing a second season or that it will be different from the book's sequel, Hidden Bodies. And what do you know, actress Elizabeth Lale isn't going to be returning for the occasion, at least as far as we know. She claims she enjoyed working with Penn Badgley, who plays Joe, and she's sad to not continue that journey with him. Elizabeth also confirmed the second season will take place in Los Angeles, and nothing will be the same. She definitely makes it sound like Beck is gone for good. Incompetence Joe is a lot of things, but a criminal mastermind definitely isn't one of them. Sure, we've seen him seemingly get away with some heinous crimes, but more often than not, he just gets lucky. When it comes to Candace's record producer, it was really a right place, right time scenario, which played out in his favor. Then with Benji, he kidnapped him without any kind of plan or endgame in sight. And Joe even admits he was ridiculously careless by sending Paco to the store with a list of suspicious items. Getting rid of Benji was also a total mess, which could have ended badly in about a dozen ways. What we're trying to say is, faking the end of Beck would be even more difficult than actually getting rid of her. And since Joe has barely gotten away with doing that in the past, we doubt he's up to the task of fooling the police force that she's gone when she's not. No hope. As we mentioned earlier, the Netflix show we all know and love is based on a book. Sure, there are plenty of differences between the book and the show, just like any other adaptation. Beck's survival may have been more ambiguous in the show, but the book makes it clear without a shadow of a doubt that Beck is absolutely gone and not coming back. We won't get into the grisly details, so you'll just have to trust us on this one. Beck obviously doesn't show up in the sequel, Hidden Bodies, so this means it's unlikely we will see her in the second season of You. Lost Cause One of the interesting things we learned over the course of You was that Beck was far from perfect. 
She let people in her life, including Benji and Peaches, walk all over her and regularly put herself in toxic and unhealthy situations. We can give her a pass for being bamboozled by Joe, but not including him in her life was still a mess. Could Beck have really managed to overcome Joe and escape, or even managed to survive? Come on, she didn't even notice a grown man hiding in her shower. There's no way she's making it to the second season. Now that you've heard some of the crazy you theories out there, have they made you rethink what you witnessed at the end of the show? Do you think Beck managed to survive, or have we seen the last of her? Tell us what you think in the comments section, and don't forget to click subscribe for more videos from The Taco. Bye for now!